Well, hello, hello, hello. Um, in case you guys didn't realize, there was a uranium fire complex that had happened in Tennessee. And I have a couple other news articles I want to bring up. Um, of course, the zombie rotting drugs that have been hitting the streets uh, from Philadelphia to California. I have seen them when we've went out street ministering throughout different states we've traveled. Um, it is becoming a very huge epidemic that is... Um, not just destroying uh, lives, but it's also destroying um, the outside environment of just you can't walk in certain parts without seeing uh, things like this. But um, hundreds were forced to evacuate as fires broke out at Tennessee's National Security Complex that contains uranium where America's first atom bomb was developed. Uh, this was pretty alarming, along with all the train derailments that we've been having. Uh, it just seems like things just keep on escalating with uh, polluting the environment. Uh, a fire broke out uh, involving uranium in a Tennessee complex uh, with all the staff being evacuated. The National Nuclear uh, Security Administration said that an emergency response responded to a blaze on Wednesday morning at Y-12 National Security Complex in Oak Ridge. There's more than 200, like all their 200 employees were accounted for, uh, but the fire started at 9.15 a.m. in a federal facility, and the blaze was limited to the site itself. But there are no reports of injury or contamination, but I know a lot of people are probably having a hard time believing that there's no contamination because they were told the same thing about Palestine, Ohio, that there was no contamination and there was contamination with the water. So um, definitely if you um, are in these areas, pay attention. All these links will be in the description, but also the Pentagon, I don't know if we can say it's an exact threat. It's kind of beaten around the bush, but the Pentagon on Wednesday pledged that there would be consequences for Beijing if they help Moscow, if they help them out in any way, shape or form. Um, the spokeswoman had spoke along with the Secretary of State, uh, saying that there would be serious problems if China looked to strengthen their alliance with Russia. As we know that China is set to have a meeting with uh, Vladimir Putin to um, talk about uh, potentially uh, becoming closer and closer and closer as allies. Um, so there is this, vi uh, th th this uh, meeting that's going on in the spring of them. Uh, we're not far from spring. So the fact of the matter is this is huge news because this tensions have been flying uh, between America, Russia, and China. They've been uh, just escalated. Um, it's uh, not looking very good if they come in. We could be on the verge of something huge. But nevertheless, we have a war on our streets, a war on our streets that's very dear to me because I know a lot of people that have drug overdosed. I know a lot of people that have been riddled with drugs. And as I've went from different cities, Philadelphia is not one, but I've seen videos in the end time movie I'm making. It will show some clips of this. But I have seen people in Minnesota streets, in California streets, Chicago streets, Indiana streets that are under the same type of drug. And the experts are finally sounding an alarm on it. It took a long time for them to sound an alarm, but it's almost too late. There's such an epidemic of this going on. And this trank drug, it is uh, like a zombie skin rotting. It is tearing people's flesh away. And uh, there's no medicine to reverse it. None at all. They have some medicines that can help people with certain overdoses, but this one in particular, there's not. The skin rotting drug, commonly known as trank or trank dope, has hit the streets of Philadelphia and is making its way to California. It has been making its way through the whole place, and it is um, very, very nasty wounds that appear on these people. Uh, sometimes it's cut with heroin. Sometimes it's cut with fentanyl, uh, but it is um, an animal tranquilizer that they use. However you say this, exil, um, exilzine or however you say it, it is approved by the Food and Drug Administration for animal tranquilizers used by vets, but it's not safe for humans. Humans are starting to do this, and they're mixing it with fentanyl and heroin, and it literally looks like the walking dead when they do this. Um, it's crazy. 
there was a record of nearly 107,000 people that died in the United States. And most of these people are homeless in the streets. They're dying in the streets. Uh, Narcan, it does not help. It does not help the overdose of this. Uh, it has no effect. But Philadelphia has been really plagued by this. And when I finished into this End Times film, uh, if you haven't, you know, viewer discretion advised when you watch some of the stuff that people have recorded in the streets. Some people might say it's wrong they recorded it, but at the same point, I don't think it is because people need to know what people are dealing with. Maybe you want to take your family on a vacation to Philadelphia. You don't want to walk them down those streets anymore. Those streets are horrendous and drug riddled and they're just like zombies walking everywhere. They are. It's really sad. It really is a sad epidemic that's going on. But, you know, keep our eyes on that stuff. If anyone goes out and feeds homeless, keep your eyes on things like this. Things to look out for is uh, I, I know a lot of people that go out to the streets that, um, you know, it's not typical like when you see uh, people that are addicted to heroin or meth. But when you see people that are addicted to this, um, their, their skin's eating away. And, uh, you know, continue to keep our eyes and pray that things uh, escalating between uh, China, Russia, and the United States, uh, it almost seems inevitable that a war is going to outbreak at some point in time. But if you're living in the Tennessee area, Ohio area, any of the areas that any of these things have happened, um, pay close attention, take things with grains of salt. And uh, if you start feeling any type of, um, now remember, fear can set it and make us feel things. So try to discern that. Is it fear or is it actual legitimate? There's people in Ohio that are having rashes from the chemical spill. Um, hopefully they're telling the truth on this, that there was no contamination because uranium will be worse. Uh, we don't want a, a Chernobyl incident. Um, so we got to be really um, keeping our eyes on the things happening. It, it just seems like there, there's no coincidence that we've had this many chemical fires, this many plant fires happening almost on a weekly basis for the past couple of years. Um, it's just, uh, it keeps happening and keeps happening and keeps happening. And uh, everything keeps pointing towards we need to leave um, the flesh behind. We need to repent. We need to turn to Jesus Christ. We need to get a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. The greatest worship there is, is obedience to the Lord, obedience and reading his word, obedience and prayer, obedience and fellowship, obedience and singing praise to him. We have got to do everything we can and not saying we're going to get salvation by that. We got to do everything we can in this world to spread the word of God, everything we can in this world to have an obedience, to worship him, to read his word, to pray. We uh, look, scientifically, I normally don't talk about that, but scientifically, because this is true. If you program your brain to do something within 90 day period, it becomes a um, repetitiveness that it just becomes normal to you. If you program your brain for 90 days to read like four chapters of the Bible, uh, to at least pray 20 minutes a day, uh, you'll find after 90 days, uh, you don't have to remind yourself. It just becomes a normality, and you will continue and continue to do this. So tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern, we'll be doing the Book of Matthew Bible study. We will be in chapter 8 and 9. It's uh, going to be good if you can tune in at 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, why is it going to be good? People will be like, what well, might be conceited? Uh, why? Because we're going to be reading the Scripture, and we're going to be reading about things that Christ did in his earthly ministry um, anytime we read the Bible, it's good because the Bible is living, the Bible is active, the Bible is true, and the Bible is our means of life. So may God bless you all.